Right now, a new report is showing Madison's Stark Weather Creek has so-called forever chemical concentrations well above state standards. Only on 27 News, JT Siskowski spoke to the report's author about what needs to be done to remove pollution from the community. The Friends of Stark Weather Creek say that their new report is intended to show that the issue of PFAS contamination here in the creek behind me will not go away on its own. They say that it will require concerted action from the three parties that they hold responsible for the pollution, the City of Madison, Dane County, and the Air National Guard. It's going to take a lot of money to clean it up, and I think that's one of the big issues is, is who's got all the money to clean it up. Lance Green is the Friends of Stark Weather Creek co-chair who authored this report on PFAS pollution in the creek and some of its connecting waterways. The pollution prompted Public Health Madison and Dane County to put up these warning signs along the creek. PFAS are a family of chemicals linked to some cancers, low birth weights, and many other health impacts. They are sometimes called forever chemicals because they take so long to break down in the environment. The report shows one PFAS compound appears in stark weather at more than 200 times the state's surface water standard. The contamination is linked to the use of PFAS containing firefighting foam at Dane County Regional Airport. So the action that we'd like to see is that we start actually pumping the water out that has the highest concentrations right by those burn pits. This is done all over the state for other problems. 27 News reached out to the city, county, and Air National Guard. In a statement, Dane County Executive Melissa Agard says, quote, Dane County remains fully committed to addressing PFAS contamination and ensuring the safety of our water resources. We recognize the concerns raised and share their commitment to reducing PFAS pollution in our waterways. The Wisconsin Department of Military Affairs highlighted efforts it has taken to prevent future contamination and monitor existing pollution. The city of Madison did not respond by deadline. In Madison, I'm J.T. Siskowski.